Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in the library on uh, in Venice. Um, and I'm having a little bit of difficulty, aren't I, with this puzzle. Um, I can't figure out exactly how to do the whole smashing through the floor. Um, we figured out which window it is. I think it's this that one that we need. I will just double check it. But I'm not really sure where to go next. Um, so before we try and figure out, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So let's do this then. Um, I've had a couple of weeks away on holiday, so I'm a little bit fresh-minded when I'm playing this game. So hopefully that's going to help uh, with this puzzle, but... Um, the Grail Diary. We had to... Apparently we can double-click on things. Yeah, there we go. So that's a nice little hint we've got there. Note the particular care taken in drawing the shield, the areas above it, and the angels. So the angels face each other. Um, the shield looks like that with the little bit in it. Uh, and three cups there. The cryptic message below seems to have something to do with Roman numerals and stone pillars. If you would enter, follow the second on the right. Okay, Roman numerals and stone pillars. So it does have to do with the stone pillars. So it's this window, isn't it? Right, let's let's read this inscription. It's inscribed with one, four, and seven. What about this one? Is that the same? Oh, this double clicking thing is much better. One, two, three, and nine. Uh, and nine. So, what does the what does the diary say? If you'd enter, follow the second on the right. Okay, I wonder if it's to do with the the numbers that come up. One, four, and seven. Um, maybe because it's the right. The second number on the right, maybe? I missed the bit about the pillars before. Two, three, and nine. So I'm guessing three, perhaps, is what we need to do. Um, what I might do, I know some people don't like this, but given this is a game of dead ends, I'm going to save here. It's called it all the hint books from the US called 1 800 Star Wars. <laughs> it's pretty cool that you used to be able to do things like that. Um, four. Uh, let's put for choice. I don't know what I'm calling it that. Um, just in case we die. Because uh, I don't want to start again. And none of you guys want to see me start again from scratch, let's be honest. So in the film, they use the metal post. And they smash through the right, um, the correct, I should say, bit down here on the floor. Um, but... What was the numbers again? I've forgotten them already. So the second on the right would be three. So I'm guessing maybe we smash this number three. Let's try doing it. Use the slab with the metal post. Is that, is that what you do? I don't think we have anything else. Unless we... No, I want to use the metal post with the number three slab. Here we go. This is what happens in the film. Now if it's the... Well, I don't know if it is the right one. Guess we'll see. What was that noise? You there, don't move. Okay, so we're going to jump down here. Ooh. I'm guessing we got it right. Cool. So we're in a new area now. Um, okay, so I've been told to use the what is command a lot more as well. Because <laughs> um, it's not really something that I've used an awful lot in some of the slightly newer point and click adventure games. It was in Maniac Mansion. Um, there's a lot of skulls around here, isn't there? But it doesn't look like we can click on any of them. There's also a bunch of tunnels. Um, well, I, okay. 
Hmm. Can we... Oh, God, what's that? What are they? Oh, this could be bad, couldn't it? Should we go all the way down? Oh, that's a dead end, okay. What are those glowy red eyes? Let's go this way, shall we? Uh, I think that's back into the beginning room again. Yeah, it is. Because there's the... Okay, so it looks like those two tunnels lead the same way. Oh, okay. Right, so that's the right-hand tunnel. I like the music here, by the way. It's very cool. Uh, should we go this way? Is this going to bring me out the other tunnel? It is, right. So they all go to the same place, do they? That's fair enough, I suppose. Let's go this way, then. Ah, now there's... Several ways we can go from here. Oh, jeez. How big is this? Oh, wow. Uh, this is huge. Okay. <laughs> this is absolutely massive. Right, that's a dead end. Wow, we could be here for a while trying to figure this place out. Right, looks like it comes down here. Is this a dead end? It is. Hopefully we can't die down here. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad. Alright, let's go down here. Uh, down this way? Okay, looks like there's a door down here. Ah! There's a torch. So there's, there's a torch here. Do I want to pick the torch up? Or could that potentially set off a trap? Good question. Uh, there's some skeletons here. Is it? What's through here? Oh, another tunnel. Oh, there's something down there. I won't go down there just yet. That's a dead end. wonder if that's actually the way out. I'm not sure if the glowing red eyes are actually real things or just there to scare you. Oh, what the hell is this place? So there's some more skulls. Hang on, what's this slab? I don't see anything special about it. Maybe the Grail Diary can shed some light on all of this. No, not at the moment anyway. Can we pick this up? Can't get a grip on it. Uh, okay, can we use the whip to maybe get a grip on it? Is that a thing? We haven't got to use the whip yet, believe it or not. Right, use the whip with the slab. That's not what I carry a whip for. Okay. Um, can we maybe use the red cordon? Like as a rope thing? Doesn't seem to work. Okay. So it looks like we've got to do something with that, but I don't really know what just yet. There's some skeletons here that we can't do an awful lot with. What's through here? Oh my word, these tunnels are pretty insane actually where are we meant to be going right those two lead to the same place let's go Ooh, <gasps> this is the way out isn't it sewage pipe ah old rusty lock we have a key can't remember if we used that key before use the small key on this lock no. Okay, um, so there's a casket and things in here. I wonder if there's another way into this room. I'm thinking that's probably what we have to do, find another way through here. Um, this is the way out onto the street, isn't it? Now, I'm not sure if we want to open that up just yet. That takes us back to where I pointed out the manhole cover earlier. So I'm thinking we head back into the tunnels for a bit and try and find perhaps another way into that room so that we can access the casket. Oh, what's down here? A 
plug. Right, he doesn't want to go into the water. I wonder if perhaps we have to chuck that slab down there. Into there. Right, he won't, he just definitely won't go in it. Um, my initial gut instinct is that we need to somehow get that slab here. He won't open the diary here. You can't even access the commands at this particular part. Um, problem is, I can't remember where I've actually come from. Ah, there we go. Right, there's the slab, so... Hmm. Maybe there's something in one of these other areas of the map that we haven't accessed yet. So we can't go that way. We know roughly how to get back here now, though, from the start, don't we? I said, hopefully. Um, this torch, I'm going to pick it up, but I'm very worried about picking it up. It's held in place by hard, dry mud. Hmm. Can we maybe use the whip on that? It's probably going to say that's not what he uses the whip for, right? No. Can we use the wine bottle on it to, like, make it wet there wasn't enough wine to loosen the mud uh, we've still got the wine thing uh, we don't ha we need some more liquid then we need liquid to loosen the mud there is all that water maybe we can use the wine bottle on the water I don't know if that's a thing did we come this way before feel like we did. Yeah, it's a dead end. We did come this way. Okay, this is pretty confusing, isn't it, guys? This little catacombs area. I quite like it, though. It's very different to some of the other screens we've had on the game so far. Uh, okay, let's go left through here. This takes us back to, like, the main area, I think. I hope. Oh, okay, this is another new room. <gasps> there was a hook or something on that guy. Can we take this arm? We can. Right, okay. We've got a hook now. Perhaps we can... Can we use the hook with the cordon? No, it doesn't work. Okay. Can we use the hook with the whip? Let's try that. That doesn't seem to work either. Okay, never mind. Um, we've got another item that we didn't know about. What's this way? Okay, that's back. Ah, oh, so what's this way then? Oh, again, just back the same way. So let's try this exit to the tunnel. Okay, that's how we get here. And I say that as if I know where here is, but of course I don't. Um... Isn't that literally just the same? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> it is so confusing. Maybe when we get that torch, this will like light the whole area up or something. I'm hoping so, anyway. Uh, what was down here? Dead end. Perfect. What's up here, then? Oh, we're back to the start. Right, okay. So what can we do with the hook? I'm thinking maybe we've got to use the wine bottle with the water in that room right near the end that he said he didn't want to go near the water for. And then I reckon that might let us get to the torch. This just takes us out the same exit, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. At least I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe this is a whole different area. I honestly don't know. It's so confusing. <laughs> it's a really good maze, actually. I'll have to say that much. Very maze-like. Which is handy, because it's a maze. Um, I think this was a dead end, wasn't it, down here? It was indeed. So I am starting to get to grips with it all. Um, so how did we get... Controls are a bit awkward sometimes, though, down here. Ah, there we go. And then we came through this way, didn't we? 
Oh wait, can we, hang on, before we do that, let's try using the hook just quickly on here now. I'm guessing this won't work, but you never know. No. So the only thing I can think of is that we've got to fill up the wine bottle with some water from this end area here. Uh, I think it was through here, wasn't it? And through this tunnel. Right, down here. Uh, ah, oh crap, which way was it from here? <laughs> I think it was through here. Yeah, here we go. And then into the sewage pipe. Oh no. Uh, can we use the hook on the lock? Why can't he... What? Hang on. Use the hook with the old rusty lock. No, you can't reach it still. Okay. So where was the underwatery bit? Was that this way? Down here? Yeah, it was. Okay. Um, can we please use, Indy, the wine bottle with the water? We can. Now the bottle of water is full. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. I'm hoping this works then. Uh, back through here. I am starting to sort of grasp the navigation of these tunnels just a bit now. Which I'm sure you guys are all happy about. <laughs> um, let's use the water bottle then. Uh, sorry, the wine bottle on the torch. That loosened the mud. Okay. Can we pick this up now? Oh no. Oops, the wine bottle broke. Where the hell are we now? Is this a new area? Well, I thought we were dead there, but it turns out we're not. So that's quite handy. <laughs> so the wine bottle broke. But maybe we've accessed a new area now. Maybe this will bring us into that room. Uh, let's try going this way. <gasps> ah! So we can't go this way, but let's go up this ladder then. Oh! I see! So that brings us out there. Huh. Interesting. Um, okay. So I guess we did have to do that, but... Well, it accesses a new area, doesn't it? So that's quite handy, actually. Let's go through and back again and see if we can pull that torch again. When he sort of fell down that hole, I really thought we'd died. <laughs> I thought I'd screwed it up and we're going to have to start again from that save point, but we're okay. I love how the, the hat just like goes down after him, it's really funny. Okay, so the wine bottle can't break again. That much is obvious. <laughs> Um, let's head through here. I don't think those eyes actually do anything. I think they're there just to spook you at first. Let's head this way. Ooh. Ah! <gasps> that's that wooden plug, isn't it? Right. That's uh, All that water is above us. So, can we use the hook? No, I, I want to use the hook with the plug. We can. Uh, can we now use the whip on that? Yes. Oh, excellent! We did it! Uh, I've got a feeling we probably can't get across there now. So, let's head back. We'll go up the ladder. And now we should be able to get through that area where he didn't want to swim. Aha! It's all come together nicely, guys. Um, it was through here, wasn't it? And then it was down this way. 
Yes! Excellent. Oh, okay. Uh, so the hole's there. We don't want to go down the hole. That much is for sure. All right, there's a dead end, and there's a tunnel. Okay, more tunnels. Interesting. What's the dead end way? It's literally a dead end, and I'm guessing this is a dead end as well. It is. Right, okay, so... Interesting. We've actually made quite a lot of progress down here. I'm surprised by how well we've done so far. Uh, I don't know how much more of these tunnels there are, but that seems like a good place to end. Um, and we'll go and explore this tunnel down here in the next one. So, um, a couple of weeks off sort of cleared my brain a little bit for this game, which is uh, quite lucky. Uh, we managed to get through the library and through a lot of these tunnels, so hopefully in the next one we'll be able to continue the good run. Um, but for now, that is going to do it for this episode. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.